up everybody it's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video today we're going to take a look at a sneaker uh is decided to retro this sneaker again in 2024 but before we get into that I need a couple things from you guys I need you to hit the like button on today's video also sub up to the channel if you haven't already do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video and leave a comment down below in the comment section let me know your thoughts on the video and the sneaker we're about to look at today yes and I did get a release in uh, from the Adidas confirm app I actually forgot I uh, ordered this but they sent this humongous box I know I'm part of team Bigfoot team Sasquatch so we're going to see what this is real quickly before we get into the main attraction. You got the peel away of... On the box. So, uh, get this up. Just bear with me. I'm not sure. I done forgot what this is. I have an idea. But I just don't recall the color of it. That's what this is from the confirmed app, but I'm not sure why they put it in this big old box unless Adidas been watching the channel and they're blessing me with some uh, some gifts. Actually, no. There's one little box in this big gigantic box. Oh my goodness! This must have been an error from somebody that working in the Look how big it is. Look how big this box is. Jeez. Okay, we set that box aside. It's just whatever it is, it's the box label. It is a size 15. Let's see what it is. Oh, there's some foam runners. Oh, yeah, I remember ordering these. Yeah. The MX Carbon uh, foam runners. Side fitting thing. Yeah. A little something different because they did come out with some 350s like this so that's what that is got these for the retail game these are so comfortable I keep my uh, Onyx pair in the car I throw them on immediately after work <laughs> they are so comfortable but the sneaker you to get into today uh it's my first time owning it you see the box you got that gray box with the Nike uh, branding on top of black. You have it on the side as well. Then your typical information that you would have on the Jordan 1 box. And here is the box label. There you go. Shout out to uh, Hibbit Sports or uh, uh, City Gear or Hibbit. I hit on the raffle on their app. And this was a ship to me actually because they didn't have it in store. So I hit on that raffle and it shipped it to me. And this is the Air Jordan 1 Retro Low OG. And the color is black, medium, gray, and white. And this is a size 14. And the price on these was, I think, 130 bucks. Look inside the box top. You have a red Nike suit stamp on the inside. It's my first time actually seeing that. It's like right in this area here. A red Nike suit. And this is the paper, smooth on one side, rough on the other. And there is no YCM sticker in the box. And yes, you guys guessed it. We have the 20. 24 version of the Air Jordan 1 Low Shadow and I got a good pair so let's talk about it here we go guys we have the Air Jordan Retro 1 Low OG the Shadow let me know your thoughts on the sneaker did you buy these uh, or are you going to try to wait for them to go on sale but this sneaker is made on an all black base and as you can see I have a good grain of leather right here in that quarter panel and going around on the mud guard it's so soft to the touch 
is ridiculous. I hope the camera is picking this up because this is this is some good leather on these. I hope you guys are not following the hype because this sneaker doesn't have a large resale. Get it because you like the shoe and they actually got some great quality materials on here. As I show you that medium gray Nike swoosh right there. You have white on the uh, midsole with a hit of black at the very bottom which leads to that outsole. You have an all black Jordan 1 outsole, Nike branding right there. We're gonna go and look at the heel of the sneaker. You have that Wings logo in black on top of the Greek, uh, the heel, excuse me, that medium gray colorway, nice and soft to the touch. And we go to the medial side of the sneaker. You have some of that nice soft leather. You have more of it continuing from the other side. You have that medium gray Nike swoosh, and this also soft to the touch. Again, shout out to Hibbit slash City Gear for the awesome pair of uh, white on the midsole. Got that black on the very bottom again, and that's a look at the toe box. But before we get a look at that, we're going to go inside. We do have extra laces. It came inside the shoe, kind of busted up, but you do get medium gray laces along with these and this is what the tissue looks like on the inside and give you guys an up close and personal look at my toolbox and see how good the leather is on here it is nice and soft the medium gray colorway comes with the black flat laces in there you have a black nylon tongue with a black woven patch that says Nike Air in the medium gray. This with the back of the tongue looks like you have black piping going around on the uh, tongue. You have a black sock liner soft to the touch and your insert. Go ahead and slide that out. You got a it looks white. You have a white uh, insert, Nike Air branding black. You see that size 14 thing. And this is not Dream Cell, but this is what it looks like. Let's see, can we see what the size and tag looks like? Uh, size and tag right here. Production date, October the 4th to November 27th of 2023 guys a better look at that uh size and tag if you will if the camera will just focus there you go that's that size and tag right there so uh these probably will go on sale they've been restocking a lot since their release but uh i like them you know I really like the pair that I received and uh, I hope uh, City Gear Slash Hibbit continue to do great things in the future because there's rumors that they're being bought out by JD Sports so we gonna keep our ears to the street and see how that goes but uh, this is the uh, Air Jordan 1 Low OG, the Shadow, I do have the highs there over there. In the display cases, they are right there. And they go right there. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and end that video off. Again, let me know your thoughts on these. And what y'all think of those uh, phone runs that I showed you guys from uh, the Confirm app. So, like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know. Well, it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack. Man, y'all need to help your boy get them J Balvin's and them uh, Travis Scott uh, Elkins and the uh, Futura SBs. But Titanic Feet Jack signing out.